that next morning you can see the blue sky through where there should be a roof and where there should be um, plaster and ceiling. So through the windows you could see blue sky and there was that was a shock. That was a you know, awful shock to see that. The reality of it sort of hitting home was horrid. So quite quickly when we went into the marble hall, we could see among the timbers and the ash, we could see large pieces of plaster and that was really heartening. Um, we could see a thigh, for instance, just literally just on top of the kind of charred smoking objects, which we quickly pulled out. We found incredible heads and faces. I think there are, I counted 36 heads in the marble hall ceiling. And so we've got the figures of justice and prudence and fortitude, and then we've got Hercules and Omphale. And suddenly you can see these amazingly expressive faces because of course they're 40 foot up. So the sculptor, whom they all hand sculpted, sculpted freehand, has made them very vivacious. They've got very overpronounced eyes and teeth and to see their you know, tongue poking out from between their teeth is really extraordinary. And we found lots of those faces and heads. We've got a good sense now of the plaster that's come out of the marble hall, for instance, and we certainly have enough there to be able to reconstruct those ceilings and really bring back those kind of glorious interiors. <laughs>